2000 from Nigeria. So I didn't know at first that I had sickle cell from birth, but my mom later on, maybe like when I was five, I think, um, that's when she told me. My last crisis was in my chest, which I rarely have a crisis in my chest. And it was horrific. Every time someone asks me how sickle cell pain feels, I always tell them it feels like death, even though I don't know what death feels like, but that's the closest thing that I feel like when I have a sickle cell crisis. I decide to go to the ER when I feel like I lack oxygen, so to the point where I don't think I could breathe on my own or I feel like I can't breathe on my own. When I arrive at the emergency room, the treatment that I get is IV saline and maybe like one milligram of Dilaudid which is not really a lot when you're in a serious crisis. A lot of times when we're in pain, we just don't want to be bothered. We don't want to be touched. We don't want to be asked questions. Um, it may seem like, yeah, we are drug seeking, but it's not drug seeking. Honestly, if we wanted drugs or if I wanted drugs, I can go out into the street and get drugs. I'm a college student. We have drugs on campus. We have alcohol on campus. but. We want to go the legitimate way, the legal way, which is the hospital, because we know we can get care better than just taking drugs, random drugs. It's more so just trying to relieve the pain and get the pain out of the body so that we can just go back to our normal lives.